национальная сборная Украины получила надежного партнера, который практически обеспечивает все потребности национальной сборной. Вы сами понимаете, что сегодняшний уровень Сегодняшний уровень работы в национальных сборных, особенно мужских, соперники наши имеют серьезную материальную базу, серьезную поддержку и спонсоров, и государства. Поэтому, чтобы иметь достойную конкуренцию, обеспечить полностью подготовку и то, чтобы команда имела все возможности подготовиться максимально и собрать а, такую сильную группу тренеров, какую мы собрали во главе с Майком Фрателло, это нужны, конечно же, деньги и серьезные спонсоры. Я очень доволен, что сегодня есть такой у нас партнер. Я надеюсь, это сотрудничество продолжится. Я также доволен, что есть и другие партнеры. Но сегодня речь идет о Аэросвите. Это компания, которая, в общем-то, скажем так, очень... Очень надежная, во всяком случае, та работа, которая уже проведена, небольшой, так сказать, месячный отрезок, все, что мы договаривались, они выполняют, как, как говорится, как в швейцарском банке. Видов спорта в Украине, который довольно поздно вышел в высоте, динамично развивается. Мы считаем, является одной из десятых карточек Украины в мире. First of all, good morning uh, or good afternoon to everyone. Прежде всего, всем добрый день. And uh, my special thank you for your support for this team. It's, uh, it's been wonderful. Uh, we have been supplied with everything that we ask to be able to try and make this the best situation for the team and it's because of your support and the other sponsors so thank you very much uh, most of the days we did two sessions uh, a day occasionally we went one long session and uh, believe me it, you get tired of seeing the same faces all the time it's nice to have a change to play against or practice against So the first thing is we were able to have the one little scrimmage uh, a few nights ago and against a team of free agents, which was good. It got us at least out of our own little environment and we could try to play against another opponent, even though it was not the same type of caliber competition that we'll see this weekend. So for our staff and for the players, these coming uh, games this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, will be very good, very important for us because we'll face teams with organization, with practice time, and now we get to see the results of the hard work during the first nine days uh, as we start to put different combinations of people together on the court. And I've always believed that when players come to training camp and they work as hard as our players work, that they should all get an opportunity early on to play in the beginning game because uh, they should be rewarded like everyone else. So don't get too concerned about the number of minutes that people are playing in tomorrow's game. Uh, this is a reward for everyone for hard work and a chance to see what they can do in a game situation. And the team that starts the first night won't start the second night and won't start the third night. I may do different combinations all three nights as to who starts and who the second unit is that comes off the bench. From the other coaches, you can't have five coaches all trying to talk to the head coach at one time during a game. They talk together, they talk to Brian, Brian talks to me, and his role is a very, very important role. Egypt player, He was part of the greatest upset in college basketball in the United States when Villanova beat Georgetown. He went on to play uh, in the NBA uh, many years and is now part of the uh, Chicago Bulls coaching staff. When he works with our big people, he speaks from experience, knowledge, and he is part of our group that breaks down the videotape of our opponents and of our practices every day.
отвечает за развитие, помимо того, что он является ассистентом, он помогает переводить тренировки, это очень важно. Он работает с Эдом Пинкнем, с большими игроками, помогает им. Также он помогает нам, дает советы по поводу менталитета, по поводу подхода к игрокам. Некоторые решения, которые мы принимаем или собираемся принять, мы советуемся с ним. То, как он проводит тренировки, то, как он делает, это отличается от общепринятых форм тренировки и физической подготовки. Украины за то, что они пошли нам на встрясти оборудование, которое он посчитал нужным для того, чтобы проводить тренировки. Оно останется у Федерации эти вещи. У кого-то, наверное, сейчас из грузчиков очень болит спина. Of what we are capable of doing and how we should match up. Suggestion. So Pat has been with us the entire time, and besides what he's supposed to do, we have asked him to go. So he has been uh, wonderful with the extra stuff he's done. And then as soon as he's done, he goes back into his little room, and he's on the computer all the time trying to put together scouting reports of our opponents. Следующий человек в нашем составе это еще один помощник тренера. Он играли, он помогал судить. Но как только это заканчивается, он идет садиться за компьютер и начинает работать со скаутингом. Here's has been great as far as being a voice in a couple of the players' ears who may not understand me as well as maybe some of the other ones do. So in trying to clarify everything, he's always on the court behind one of them uh, while they're listening or watching or in the meetings trying to help out as we go through stuff on the board or video that we're trying to explain. Uh, that's a very good question uh, because I have uh, been trying to, along with the staff, accumulate information on these first three teams. And outside of last year's competition where we maybe can get some information, most teams haven't played a lot of exhibition games so far. So for them, like for us, this may be the beginning of their competitiveness against other teams. So we don't have that much, but in all honesty, for the game tomorrow night, it might be better that we don't know a lot about them because now our principles, uh, let me, how do I say it? If you know the scouting report, you play the play instead of playing your principles. When you don't know the scouting report, you have to play your principles. So everything we've been working on, if we don't know plays that they're going to run tomorrow night, that's okay. Now we have to talk and communicate. And then when we have a timeout, we make adjustments, we substitute, we make adjustments. So I think it's good to some extent for both the players and the coaches to not know what to expect in the first game. Then the second game, you know more because you watch them the night before. In the third game, you know a little more because you watch them for two games. So that's how I look at it. And basketball is a chess match. It winds up being a chess match. And you can stop any play if you're trying to stop one play. But that's not what building a team is about. It's about building the solid foundation because the game isn't just one play. They have to be able to handle the situations that suddenly come up in the game. So your principles have to be solid. Then when you have scouting reports, it gives you an advantage to be able to play one or two or three plays in particular. But we have to get our foundation solid first, and then we'll worry about stopping certain plays. You know, when we practice two times a day, it's not two times one hour and one hour. It's two times two and a half, three hours, two and a half, three hours. So that's maybe five to six hours on the floor. Then you go to bed, you get up the next day, same thing. You go to bed, you get up the next day, same thing. When you get up on the third day, it's raining outside, it's dark outside. If it's the normal person, they go, ah, I'm tired, I go back to bed and go to sleep. But you can't do that. You, you have to get up and go back to work, practice again. Я маю надію, що в Туреччину Стівен Бур вже полетить на по українському паспорту. Я так надію. Я не бачу, звичайно, я не даю 100%, що все буде Завтра буде паспорт, але все так, на мій погляд, де нормально. І я думаю, що в Туреччині на перший е, турнір в Туреччині, в Ізмірі, він вже буде з українським паспортом.
Um, right now, because we have played a number of combinations in camp together, we can be big, big, we can be small with the big people if we want. We can play one big and one smaller. Uh, we can go four small and one big. Uh, we have to look and see what is our most productive team, not only offensively, but the team that can defend as well. Uh, we, have, we have guards, five, six guards, that they may not be stars, but they work very hard. And their mentality is that we have to wear you down. Our guards have to wear you down. And they will get after you, and they will play you, and they play very hard. And we'll find ways to make up through the guard effort for what they might lack in the talent or size of other guards. We're not big in the backcourt. We don't have a tall backcourt, but we have a mentally strong backcourt. They have toughness in their mind. Uh, up front, uh, as far as the front line goes, we've had a couple injuries. In training camp, we had to miss a couple days with Fasenko, a couple days with Sergei Lushuk. But they're back now and trying to get their condition back up to where it should be. It's early for me to tell you because after we play this weekend, if you ask me the same question on Monday or Tuesday, I may have a better answer for you then. Two weeks ago, there was a meeting with Boris Kolesnikov. Потім ми зустрілися з керівництвом Паласу спорту і вирішили всі питання щодо гри баскетбольних ігор в Палаці спорту. Ми будемо мати максимум ігор щодо чемпіонату України, щодо кубків, ну і, звичайно, до національної збірні. Палац спорту ну, готов для того, щоб працювати з нами по повному програмі. Це вже не питання. Всі питання по Палацу спорту вирішені. Друге питання. А, я скажу так, що Аеросвіт, Аеросвіт як, як спонсор головний, зробив так, щоб вхід був вільний. Я, я безпосередньо проти вільного входу на будь-які змагання спортивні, але це це така а, позиція, позиція а, генерального спонсора.